watching, you know, TV with all of these mass shootings and it, it's, I always wait to, to hear what kind of medicine, psychiatric drugs these people are on. So do you have an opinion on if a lot of these violent acts and things that we're seeing have anything to do with psychiatric drugs? A lot of people and physicians know there is some kind of connection between using medication and uh, acts of violence like suicide and homicide. Mm -hmm. But there was no awareness that there are genetic tests you can do to predict who are the people who are most uh, at risk for these side effects. Okay. So um, a lot of people might not know what the cytochrome P450 system is. Um, So can you like sort of break down in layman terms how that system is important to metabolizing um, drugs? What are the CYP450 genes? Depending on on what you read between 75 to to 90 percent of all medications uh, is metabolized, so expelled from the body by, by just a handful of, of, of genes. And we call those the CYP415 genes. There are a lot more, but from the whole system, there are about 10 genes that are important for expelling medication from the body. And it turns out that people who have certain, that kind of variants on their DNA with regards to the CYP450 system, they might not be able to metabolize the medication in the same speed as somebody who does not have a variant. And the prescribers, they they don't look at does somebody has a variant, they look at the general population and they say, well, generally people need three times one tablet per day to to attack some kind of, of illness. But if you have people who are not able to get that medication out of their system quickly enough, then that medication is too high. But you have also variants of people who have extra proteins who can expel medication very quickly from their body. And then the medication will not work. So you have to, you have to really know what kind of variant somebody has to determine what kind of medication would, might work with them mm-hmm. or what medication will cause side effects. Because if you have too much of the medication in your body, then it will accumulate, accumulate, and then you get side effects, and that's that's very often uh, toxic for the brain. So that's when you get those those behavior problems. I mean, the doctors, many doctors don't know these these CYP450 systems or the, the drug drug interactions, and neither do the the other prescribers. They should be held responsible. But those reports, it's very important that people have them have themselves tested before they get any medication. And, and educate themselves about it. You can find anything on the internet. So do you know, like when they are developing um, psychiatric drugs or doing trials on them, do they ever test anyone's DNA prior to that? Or they just have these samples of people and that's how they say like, this is a, a standard dose, but they have no idea what the you know, the CYP450 system is in each of these people in the trial? No, they don't. I mean, <laughs> yeah, I wish they did, but then, then, then they would have all the money they can spend now on marketing. They should spend then on, on research, and they're not willing to do that because that kind of information would probably lead to less medication being prescribed. And hey, pharmaceutical companies have a business model, so they're not going to do that. 